Hello, hello everybody. Once again, this is your boy Bob Rock and welcome to the B-Rock RC Show, a live podcast for the drifters by a drifter. Hope you all have had a great, great weekend and looking forward to chatting to you all once more. So we're just going to wait a few minutes for a few more guys to come in and then we will continue ahead with the podcast with the show today. Uh, let's see. I am wondering. I am wondering what does that do? Uh, let's see. Feature links? Nope. Uh, poll. Ask a question. Okay. What is the most Ideal time for the podcast. Uh, okay, no, that's not really working out. Let's forget about that. Welcome, welcome. I see we got Earl in there. What's happening, my man? How are you doing? It's been a while since we had a chat, eh? Uh, thank you for joining in, man. Appreciate it. Uh, just waiting for a few more people to to join in. Perhaps you, uh, if you could help out by uh, sharing the link, uh, sharing the live, uh, that would be so 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 awesome. Uh, okay, that's not doing much there. Let's see. Uh, done. I don't know. It's not letting me. It's not allowing me to share this. Why can't I share? Tap the show button to feed you very much links. If I do that. Ah. Okay, interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay. Stop. Okay, well <coughs> excuse me. Well, it looks like it's gonna be a bit of a lonely podcast today, which is no problem. Not a hassle. Uh, I think um I'll just uh, ramble on a little bit there. Uh, it's been a bit of a rough weekend. Uh, I had the flu. Uh, all just about recovered from it. So which means that I didn't have any time to catch up on what's going on in the world and work on my RCs, which I am struggling with at the moment. I don't know about uh, you guys. I don't know how many of you guys are also feeling the struggle at the moment just trying to get uh, motivated again i think um for me especially because things have slowed down so much in in uh my city with uh, with drifting i'm finding it harder and harder to get back in it uh compared to like earlier this year and it, it kind of worries me a little bit I don't know whether I'm I'm losing touch of drifting. I don't know whether I'm uh, losing my passion, losing my my interest in the hobby. I don't know, man. Uh, I feel like I'm fighting. I feel like I need something new, something fresh to um, get me motivated again. I don't know. I I feel like I need something. So maybe you guys have an idea what what can help boost me up again. I don't know. Let's hear from you guys. It's not going to be a very long podcast uh, today. Uh, it's really just a general chat, general catch up, uh, see how everybody's doing. Um, you know, take some questions. If you guys have any uh, questions for me, you would like to learn anything about me, learn anything from me. Uh, you have any questions, just uh, shoot. You know, send it through. Uh, so yeah, but anyway, uh, besides besides that, I think uh, one of the things that I I did want to touch on uh, again, and it's a topic from one of my very very early uh, podcasts. It's about competition drifting versus social drifting. Uh, I think. For a lot of people that's coming into the hobby, all the new guys, 
uh, they are getting very excited about getting into drifting and they want to, some guys, they just want to go all out right off the bat. You don't need to do that. Your first aim should be to learn how to drift, learn your car, learn about the different components in the car, what it does, how you can adjust it so that you can have a better time and make it easier for yourself to drift. With that, I know that they get excited and um, and that's fine. It's good to get excited. You, sh you should definitely be excited about RC drifting. It's one of the best hobbies for you to get into. But all I'm saying is take it in your stride. Don't rush it because chances are when, when you rush things, especially with RC drifting, there's a good chance that you're actually going to um, get annoyed and frustrated with the hobby and it's going to cause you to leave the hobby uh, earlier than expected. So just take your time, give yourself time to learn the hobby, learn everything, and you'll be just fine. Um, hey, we got three viewers now. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you guys for... <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Welcome, guys, uh, to the podcast. As you know who I am, I am Bob Rock, and this is the Bureaucracy Show, Season 3, Episode 8. Uh, I had quite a bit of a break, but now we're back. We're a little bit old school with the format, but, you know, we're keeping it going, trying our best to. So thank you for joining in, even if it's a minute and you disappear. <laughs> it's totally cool. <coughs> <coughs> wow why am i coughing that way so yeah uh competition uh, competition drifting versus social drifting what are the pros and cons why should you do one and not do the other why should you do both why shouldn't you bother about it at all well to answer that uh i think for whichever one you uh, you want to focus on, it just boils down to how much of yourself you want to give to uh, to the hobby uh, and to that part. If you're someone who's quite busy, but you need something to just sort of chill your mind out, uh, relax yourself, um, social drifting is for you. That's where you just you you're only there to. As, as the name says, socialize, you're there to just chill with the, your buddies, finding new friends, um, and just driving your heart out, just really enjoying the drive. Um, you can compare to uh, jumping in your car uh, on, a, on a Sunday afternoon and just going for, the, for a cool drive, a cool long drive, just to enjoy the drive. That's pretty much social social drifting, where you just stay, you just want to hang out, no pressure of the competition, you just want to chill, drive, have fun, and go. Um, and like, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. We need uh, those kinds of uh, sessions to keep the blood going and keep the fun going, you know. Um, however. When it comes to uh, if you if you're one of those people who like to focus on perfecting a technique or perfecting the way you uh, the way you do things, then social drifting is gonna uh, is gonna take uh, uh, is a part that's gonna take you longer to fine tune those uh, those techniques and get you better and get you. Uh, perfecting your your driving the way you want to at that point if you ever reach that point then you should definitely look at competition drifting so comp drifting is obviously much more uh pressure uh much more focused and uh, a lot more um how can i put it uh a lot more strict a lot more strict. So there is where I find that you sharpen your skills very, very, uh, very, very quickly. Because obviously you're trying to do better. You're trying to, well, the basis of any competition is to see who's the best. 
that you know you want to you want to win obviously you want to beat your opponent and uh, but at the same time you obviously re remaining humble you know so you all you want to do is just uh, be the best and to be the best you got to do your best and to do your best you need to practice and if you want to reach that level that uh, you know you uh, you want to competition level drifting is then your uh, your drifting of choice you should always go for that you're gonna pick up your your skill level a whole lot very quickly as well um, so that doesn't mean to say that you can't do social drifting so you know it's all up to you so for the guys that just joined us thank you so much for for joining in i'm your host bob rock and this is the b rock rc show a live podcast for the drifters by a drifter um, we're just having a very chilled out uh, episode today we uh i've been sick for a for a number of days now and uh, i'm finally back and i'm just looking to just catch up with everybody see what's going on on your end of the world take some questions so i'm looking forward to anybody asking questions you want to know anything about me anything about my track drifting um if you're a new guy wanting to get into rc drifting you know i'm right here i'm always available to uh uh, on and off uh, the show always available so you can just uh, hit me up uh, so is there anybody <laughs> with any questions <laughs> hey there's my man coming to the rescue what's up rob so nice of you to join us it's been a little bit uh, quiet today but i think it's more because i haven't uh, been very active with the uh, getting the links out and promoting it all over the place. It's just been a, a, a busy day at, at work. And uh, uh, yeah, so I've just been trying to catch up with everything. Uh, Rob, you know, you haven't missed much. Um, it's just a very chilled out uh, uh, session, very chilled out uh, episode today. It's just a catch up, see how everybody's doing, what's going on on your end of the world. Uh, I'm on a break, gotta run in five, but it's nice to see your face. Ah, same here, man. Thank you so much for joining in, even if it's just a few minutes, man. Rob is one of uh, the longest, uh, longest viewers I've had uh, on the show, or I have on the show. Uh, he's been joining me from day one, and that's like 2020. So yeah it's always good to, it's it's very humbling to see uh, so many of you guys uh you know continuing to support the the Birok RC show uh, i know i've been mentioning it for for a while about merchandise and getting shirts out and stickers and a whole bunch of other stuff it's just it it's been it's been quite tough trying to uh with moving uh getting my own place uh and uh and just trying to get on track and then months ago uh, we had to deal with flooding in our city and then my house got flooded and i'm trying to recover they have had so much of uh trying and obstacles this year but i've managed to get over it and still getting over it so i hope you will continue to uh stay on this journey with me it's nice to see all the familiar faces and the old faces so really really appreciate the support you know i always say even if it's a minute and you come in it it means a whole lot to me uh so yeah guys what's going on in the new end of the world um let's see if do you have any questions uh and to the few guys that have just joined us again welcome to the b-rock rc show uh season three episode eight much appreciate you guys being here it's uh it's gonna be a short uh episode today but uh nonetheless uh i know it's a little bit boring uh i can hear it <laughs> and i don't i have the strange cough but yeah uh, appreciate uh, you guys uh, joining in anyway uh, so with all of that it brings me to my next uh, next point that I just 
uh, wanted to chat about the state of RC drifting around the world. I don't know uh, uh, how's it going in your uh, in your end of the world. Oh, good. We have a comment. Another one. Rob says, before I run next track day, bring some 0 to 3 degree offset wheels, some 7 to 10 mil offset wheels for the rear, start on 5, then uh, so then go wide, have a test, feel the difference. Yeah, I think that's awesome. Sweet. Thanks, uh, Rob, for the advice. I will definitely give it a try. Something to get me, get the old cogwheels going. Marco, hey, how you doing, man? Thank you so much for joining in, Marco. Really, really appreciate it, brother. It's nice to see you in the comments, too. Marco, for the guys that don't know, is a very, very, very accomplished uh, builder. Uh, he's, you should check out his uh, uh, profile and uh, uh, and just have a look at some of the work he does. Amazing, amazing work. And that's not to say that Rob doesn't do amazing work as well. The man is on fire. He does some very, very nice work. You should also check out his profile. Check out the, the pictures he puts up. He's, an, he's a fantastic human being all around. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Marco. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think, uh, shoot, Marco, quick question for you. Um, would you like to join in next week's episode? Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> um, yeah, I'd love to have a chat with you next week on uh, on the show uh, if you are free. Check out the new two game video from the opening uh, from Drift Palace for sure, man. I'm going to check it out. Yes, which uh, that's actually a very good point, uh, Marco. The Drift Palace looks absolutely amazing. I know you guys did a whole new layout and you did it up again, and it looks fantastic. Definitely a place to to visit. Uh, get Blint <laughs> Ben Clinton on. We need to know why blue is his gold. <laughs> you know, Rob, I, I must apologize to you about that. I, I was supposed to actually message Ben. <laughs> I'm going to message him and ask you <laughs> to join us. Uh, hey, you know what? That's a great idea. Maybe, maybe. Yes, go, 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 go. We'll We'll, we'll chat later. So maybe what we can do is actually get uh, Ben and Marco on next week's episode. So Marco, if you're still around, if you're still watching, uh, and you are interested, uh, let me know if you would like to appear on the show next week. And uh, yeah, we'll make it happen. Uh, you can uh, I just uh, ask you a few questions about uh, your work and uh, the track. It'll be very chilled out. So uh, let me know if you're keen on uh, uh, appearing for the show. It can be five minutes, 10 minutes. It's cool, whichever way. You let me know. Um, yeah, it will be nice uh, to add you guys. So last week we had uh, uh, our guest was uh, Rob, where we spoke about some uh, damping, his dampers, and uh, gave us some really, really good tips and tricks uh, to set up the dampers and set up a suspension. So thank you, Rob. Um, yeah, and then we'll, uh, Marco, uh, I think we'll get, okay, he says, yes, sure. That's awesome, man. So then we can get some tips and tricks from Marco about how to do bodies or or even just uh, chat with him about how he goes about it. So I think that'll be, that'll be very cool and very informative for uh, the people watching. So thank you, Marco, for for that. Uh, I'll send you details, and then uh, we'll hook it up and uh, make it happen. Um, so quickly, whilst we're on that, I just want to check. Okay, so we got about 10 to 15 minutes uh, left, because like I said, it's going to be a short uh, episode today. Um, I, I don't know how you guys uh, are feeling about uh, the direction that RC drifting is uh, going in, uh, especially into the new year. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts about the new range of uh, chassis that are hitting the market at the moment. So you've got RevD with the RDX, you've got Yokomo with the MD1, and then you've got, uh, was it Rhinomax? Yes. 
uh, Rhino Max with their kit that's coming out. Uh, and that's besides the the conversion kits that are uh, that are out there. Like the one on top of my my mind is uh, obviously the Beast Mode uh, Team Jordan uh, conversion kits. Uh, there's others like TDP uh, and, uh, and 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 um, I mean there's wrap up next, but um, I don't think uh, in terms of uh, whole chassis. Uh, I don't think there's anything else at the moment. I mean, MST was toying with some uh, some new chassis, but uh, I don't think they've uh, released anything as yet. So that's uh, but that's going to be a bit interesting to see. But yeah, let's hear from you guys what you guys think about uh, uh, the direction that RC drifting is uh, heading into the coming year. I think it's uh, it's definitely going to be quite interesting to see once the new chassis land and people start using it uh i hope that there's going to be a few guys that really put the chassis uh through their paces and uh, let everybody know on on the performance is it uh an increase in performance is it a noticeable increase in performance is it something that's the uh the thing the next new thing to get or is it just one of those trends uh that we're gonna see is it uh, like uh, do you guys think that well, with these kind of uh, uh chassis uh that the main manufacturers are pushing out do you guys think that perhaps it's it's no more about the drifting but more about uh it's more like about just creating a trend what do you guys think? I'd love to hear some of your your thoughts and your comments about it. Um, personally, I think that um, <clears throat> almost every uh, I think it's very difficult for manufacturers to come up with something completely new because a lot of uh, a lot of manufacturers, big and small, have tried just about everything. I mean, there's a uh, there's uh, RR kits, there's mid mount, there's a rear mid mount, there's front motor mount. Uh, weird places where <laughs> the ESC is uh, located, um, and then even the difference in uh, mounting the servo. You got direct drive steering systems like with the Rhinomax. Then you got slide racks and curved racks and bell and uh, bell cranks. Um, and then you've got uh, gearboxes uh, now with Rhinomax producing the CLSD, and you've got uh, things like the GAM, overdose GAM, or the floating with the with the FMFS system, and it's crazy. They've done just about everything that we can think of. So, what's next? I've always asked the question: What's the next big thing for RC drifting? I can't. I, I honestly I I, uh, I find it very difficult to uh, to imagine what the next big thing uh, would be. So I think it's going to be interesting going into the new year, though. Uh, a lot of people, uh, in my opinion, I think are going to get uh, some of these new chassis, the MD1, uh, the RDX once it lands. Um, so yeah. You know, it's going to be a very, very interesting year for RC drifting, especially in the coming year. Um, so, guys, yeah, uh, I think uh, we're going to call it quits for today's episode of the B-Rock RC Show. I know it's quite short. It's uh, roughly half the time that I usually uh, take up for my, uh, for my podcast, but it has been... Uh, and I will admit it has been a slow a slow week uh I've been ill for half the week and I haven't had much time to to really dig in and dig out uh, stuff from around the world hey Diego my man how you doing my man how you doing uh, good to see you in the comments here nice of you to join us uh I was going to close up the the podcast uh in a few minutes but i think since you are around i will definitely uh extend the episode 
Um, so whilst I got you here, Diego, I was wondering if you would like to be a guest on the on the podcast um, either in next week or the week after. Uh, if you are keen, please let me know and uh, I'll send you details and we'll make it happen. But yeah, uh, I think it'll be nice to get you uh, on the show because you are quite uh, accomplished in what you do. It'll be nice to get uh, guests finally on, on the Birok RC show. Uh, it, there's been a lot of requests um, to add in guests on the show. And finally, getting around to it, we sort of a trial a trial ran having guests on the show uh, last week. We had Rob. So this week, I wasn't able to uh, get hold of anybody to get a guest on. But next week, I already have uh, someone lined up and possibly to Ben Clinton. I am looking for you, sir. So uh, if you guys know Ben, hit him up, send him a message, tell him uh, Bob Rock is looking for him. So <laughs> I've also got a message him, but uh, yeah, I'd like to get uh, Ben uh, on the show for a very, very, he has to answer a very, very important question. <laughs> so hopefully he, he comes in. Uh, yeah, and actually speaking of which, uh, Diego, uh, Marco uh, is going to be our next guest on uh, the Beer of RC show next week. So if there is time, um, uh, I'd like to get you in on uh, uh, on next week's episode as well. However, uh, if you if you're not uh, if you're not available, then we can get you in the week after if that's okay. Drift Palace team is watching. Oh, that's awesome, man. Big shout out to the Drift Palace team. Thank you for watching. You guys are awesome. Really, really appreciate the support. Uh, and uh, yeah, man, keep doing what you guys are doing. I, I, we can do it together. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, I would love that. That's going to be really fantastic. So thank you both, uh, guys. It's going to be really, really cool to uh, have you guys on the show yeah definitely uh, i know both you and uh, and diego uh, love building bodies you guys do absolutely amazing amazing work and uh, i am always in awe of the work you do uh, and i wish i had just even like five percent of the talent <laughs> that you that you guys i'm always impressed with the with the work that you guys do um Man, you know what? Uh, uh, to be honest, I wish I could uh, ask you guys to do a, a body for me, but <coughs> excuse me. But with the current uh, exchange rates uh, between South Africa and the rest of the world, it's absolutely ridiculous. So I'll just have to hold on to <laughs> to that dream for a little while longer. But yeah, keep doing what you guys uh, what you guys are doing. I really love your work. I'll always uh, check out your what you guys are doing. So yeah, keep it up, man. Keep it up. Um, and uh, next week, let's make a let's make an awesome show, and then we can you guys can share some tips perhaps, and uh, you know make drifting awesome again. Uh, anybody else? Uh, any questions out there? We have to figure out something about that. Okay, you know what, Marco? Um, uh, after the show, or maybe uh, even tomorrow, uh, we we can have a chat, and then let's see what we can do. Uh, for all the guys that are just joining in, thank you so much for all the support. I'm your host, as you know, the boy with the most, Bob Rock, and welcome to the B Rock RC Show, season three, episode eight. We are making it out here, man. Uh, we're doing what we can, and we're just keeping it rolling. Cisco, my main man. The main man, Cisco. Thank you so much for joining in, uh, brother, all the way from Cape Town. Most of you guys are from overseas. You guys know uh, Cisco very, very well. Has been competing at the world uh, a few times. Uh, and, uh, yeah, you know, he is the world's number eight. Uh, if you if you remember 2019 worlds yeah he's all the way from south africa cape town 
the one of the most beautiful places to be in the world. Thank you so much for joining in, Cisco. Really appreciate it, man. Send my regards to the family there. Uh, we're taking questions. We we're just catching up with everybody. Uh, perhaps uh, Cisco, sometime you wouldn't mind uh, being a guest uh, on the show. Would you be interested in that? Five or ten minutes, or even five minutes, uh, for just a little while. Uh, if you if you can, let me know, and uh, we can arrange something for for one of the weeks. I'll. Yeah, yeah. Um, Hey man, I'll be honest and straight up, I'm struggling a little bit with uh, trying to get back into the the drifting, but uh, the motivation is is slowly coming there. It's slowly getting there, so hopefully we reach that uh, that place again. Oh no no, of course uh, no no not tonight not tonight. Um, maybe yeah, in uh, either in a uh, either next week. Or the week after. Actually, you know what? To be fair, it will be the week after because I have a couple of guests lined up for for next week, and uh, we can we can make it happen there. I'll send you details. Or I'll chat with you, and then uh, we can we can make it happen. So, but yeah, thank you for agreeing to come on to the to the show, man. Really, really appreciate it. It's going to be fantastic <laughs> chatting with you again. Uh, so yeah, guys. Uh, that's that's what's uh, happening in the world of RC drifting, or should I say, in my world. Um, so to say, uh, well, not to say really, but to get back to something that I've spoken about uh, in previous uh, episodes of the Bureaucracy Show. Uh, one of the things I spoke about was uh, uh, motivation. How do you, how do you motivate yourself when you've hit a, a low point, when you've hit a, a slump in 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 the hobby? You know, where you you find yourself completely demotivated, not wanting to do anything, or really like you have to really drag yourself to do to do something. Sadly. As much as I have uh, been talking about this uh, and talking about many things like this in my uh, podcast, and being the kind of person that I am, uh, I hit, I, I'm at that low point right now. Uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not down, or I'm not depressed or sad about anything. Like uh, I'm. Mentally, I, I'm doing fine. I'm okay. It's just that with the, with the drifting at the moment, I feel like I've hit a really low point, and I feel like I need something to get me going again, get that fire going again. So, I would love to hear from you guys. Any ideas? What can I do? I mean, Rob has given me one idea about doing some some testing and getting some things going on. Uh, with my uh, with my chassis, but I'd love to hear from you guys. What can I do? Um, what can I do to pick me up? Any ideas? I'd love to hear. Marco says a new body always gives me a push. Well, Marco, uh, I must admit I do have uh, I do have a few bodies in the. I do have a few bodies in my collection which I always meant to to get to, but I just somehow I just can't bloody drag myself to do it. So maybe I should actually just take out all of those bodies and just lay it out, and maybe that will give me some uh, <clears throat> some motivation. Let's say go deeper in the detailed bodywork or detailed track building. Um, yeah, you know that's actually quite a good idea because. Uh, what I've actually been doing uh, at work during my free time at work was, uh, well, my job is architecture. So I'm a professional architectural technologist. Uh, I work for an architectural firm and I've been in there for like the past 17 years or so. Uh, and we work with a 3D based uh, drawing program. So building up 
things in 3D is like second, almost second nature to me. And what I've been doing recently was actually uh, drawing up the plans and, and modeling uh, of the, the Weld Overdose headquarters, that building there. I've got the, went on to Google, uh, Google Street View and Google Maps and got all the different views of the build, uh, of the building. And then uh, I, I went on to the Facebook page. Well, just try to gather as much pictures as I can. Um, so yeah, I'm actually busy sort of building out in 3D with the intention of a building, a, you know, building a 110 scale garage. So yeah, maybe I should get back in that. I, I've started it recently, but yeah, maybe I should get back into that. Chris. What's happening, man? Thank you so much for joining in. Uh, track builds the right way. People just put curves and think they got a drift track. How about proper track builds? You know, the thing with track builds is that it's not so straightforward. Excuse the pun. Uh, <laughs> it's not so straightforward as what people think. And yeah, you're right. It actually takes a lot of uh, uh, technical know-how to build a right track. Because you need, uh, in my opinion, you need to be a driver in order to build a track, uh, like a proper driver to build a track. You got to know lines. You got to know driving lines, drift lines. You got to know um, by you setting up a curve and you setting an entry and exit point. You you got to already envision uh, what the car is going to do if you put for example, uh, a clipping point on the apex or on the inside or on the outside of that uh, of that lane. So you got to know what the what the car you already got to see what the car is going to do before you uh, before you actually drive it. Um, and then you got to uh, look at things like flow. You got to look at uh, your your speed up and your slow down sections. Your your sweeps, your technical sections. So it, it's not so straightforward. Yeah, and I do agree. People think that, oh, you can just lay a track out and drive it and everything will be fine. It's not so, it's never that simple. Uh, let's see, oh, building a real scale engine bay. Oh, dude, Diego, I, I wish I could, man. I really, really wish I could. Um, these are sausage fingers. <laughs> really, I'm not so, I'm not so... Uh, well, I'm, I'm not even going to say so. Uh, I'm just not good at all at very intricate uh, building, man. Um, it's it's not my my skill at all. I would love to give it a shot, though, but I just don't think um, uh, I could do it. Always test and drive again and change some things. Yes, absolutely. Whenever say, uh, you're building a track... Start off with the base, whatever it may be, start off. But don't let that be the end of the track. you got to drive it and see, okay, does it flow nicely? Where the kinks are? Um, how it can improve? <laughs> yeah, yeah these, are, these are sausage fingers, man. Um, so, yeah, but thank you, guys. This is really, really helping to pick me up. Really, really appreciate it, man. This is why you guys are the real MVP, man. Uh, Pascal, watching cool and well edited RC drift videos. Yes, totally agree. And whilst I, uh, I agree with you, I also get very depressed when I watch those uh, very cool and well edited RC drift videos because I, uh, you know, for a long while I've tried so hard to do the same uh, shoot a video, edit it. I just don't have the uh, uh, and it's not necessarily don't have the time. It's just I don't have the the equipment to to get it done properly. And that's one of the things that's absolutely grinding my gears. And it's absolutely annoying and frustrating me to no end. Is that I don't have the right uh, equipment. And at the moment, it's a little bit difficult for me. Um, the other thing that's really, really bothered me, the resources, Mamu, the resources, hey, Zian, <laughs> what you say, my man, Z man, the man in the house, this is my main motivator right here, Z. 
Bro, uh, you know what? I'll I'll send you uh, I'll send you a picture of my of the specs of my PC, man. Um, and yeah, I mean it's okay, but it's it's frustrating me. But don't don't even worry about that. I'll I'll get a hand on that. The thing that's really uh, brought me down, though, guys, is that in and i've talked about it so much i think i've talked about it too much i think i'm overdoing it uh in that with this flood and whatever and my place getting damaged the thing that really really uh, brought me down though is that uh a lot of all my my tools and spares and little things that i that i actually needed and need at the moment to like adjust my car, tune my car, or try out different uh, setups, all that stuff is just completely gone. It's just absolutely rusted away, and uh, I absolutely can't use it. I have I've had to throw it away, uh, including my uh, RC bag, which I which I had kept all my stuff in. So even in there, I lost a lot of stuff that was that I had kept in my bag. Uh, and the bag itself is completely done for. So I think that uh, that's really, really uh, brought me down subconsciously. And now that I'm talking about it more, I think that's the thing that's really, really brought me down. But we will rise again. And, uh, you know, hopefully I can pick myself up again and slowly build up all my, my tools and spares again. Uh, it's taking forever because I've had to focus on the house first before I can get back to that. But nonetheless, let's not uh, dwell too much on uh, the negatives and always look at the positives and let's keep that going. Yes, agree. Head up and get into it again. Yeah. So thank you guys so much for all the the positive energy and the positivity and uh, all the ideas. Hey, what's up, Dirk? Thank you so much for joining in, man. I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, and for the guys that just joined in that I haven't said hello to, uh, welcome to the B-Rock RC Show, Season 3, Episode 8. We're out here, man. Episode 8, Season 3. Um I don't know how many of you uh, that's watching have been with me from like when I started uh, the podcasting, like season one. Uh, I think you would remember season one was like done out of my car. Uh, it actually started off um, on my drive on the way home, which was crazy because I'm talking and you can hear the car in the background and driving in the background. <laughs> which was uh, amazing, to be honest. And uh, from there, we are back here. We are back here. God is great, my brother. Always, always, my bro. Always. You will come back even stronger than ever. I totally agree with you, man. I totally agree. And I, I'm trying to get myself back to that, uh, to that position. And uh, I know I will get there. It's just taking me a little bit longer than I like. But yes, I will get there. I mean, with guys like you and all the rest of you viewers, uh, I know I will get back there. Um, yeah, so sometimes, uh, and I'm going to say something about motivation. And it's actually advice that, that really I should take for myself. Um, I was responding to a, a friend of mine who's actually busy with the uh, <clears throat> uh, Comic Con uh, South Africa at the moment and you know busy with trying to get the cosplays done and everything and i've also been through a rough time so and like i said it's advice that i should take for myself and hopefully this will help some of you guys so i told this friend of mine that you know sometimes we move so far forward that we forget to look back and see how much we have accomplished how many how many obstacles we have overcome and where we had come to where we arrive now so sometimes you got to you got to pause where you are look back at where you were and appreciate and acknowledge everything that you've overcome to where you uh, to where you are now if you are 
present in this moment and you are able to look back and see where you've come. That's already a, a massive accomplishment because whatever happened to you, whatever was, uh, uh, whatever good, bad, whatever it was that you've uh, come across, you managed to get through it. You stuck in it. You didn't give up. And you are here continuing to fight that fight, continuing to live and and do whatever it is that you need to do. So perhaps that's something that I myself need to to take. I need to take my own advice. <laughs> it, it's weird because I, I feel like I, I'm better at giving it than taking my own advice. And uh, I, I see some of my other friends in here as well, and they definitely, they're going to tell me the same. And I think they're going to, uh, they would uh, agree with me that I should take my own advice uh, and that I'm better at giving advice than, than taking my own advice, listening to myself. But uh, that's the hardest part, isn't it? So yeah, guys, uh, thank you again for everything, for being with me through this whole journey. Uh, it's been amazing. Sometimes I do look back, but perhaps uh, this is one of those moments where I need to actually stop, look back, and take account of of where I was to where I am now. And I think perhaps sometimes it's okay to, to take some credit for yourself uh, without you having to feel like uh, you are boasting or gloating or or trying to show off that's not the case you just want to take uh, take account of what you've done uh, to get to where you are now just so that you can feel a little bit better and give you the motivation to keep doing what you're doing uh diego i have no idea what you just said because i'm sure you you're speaking in uh, in your home language and i have no idea what you just said um well, uh, okay so anyway uh, let me know what that means what you just said <sighs> yeah guys uh i know i keep saying yeah 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 uh it's i'm using fuller words in here for because of sort of losing my train of thought. Uh, uh, once again, thank you everybody for joining in to the Birok RC show. Hopefully I can make this better. Oh, sorry, yes, inside question to Marco. Oh, okay, okay, cool. No worries, no worries at all. You, uh, This is a safe play, a space and you are welcome to do so. So, uh, let's see. So we said, uh, let's do a new body. Um, let's uh finish up the well overdose uh drawings so that can, i can build that uh garage uh and let's see where is it i have something here ah there we go ta-da look at this isn't that pretty cool this is a scale uh a scale billboard uh 3d printed i can't remember the name of the the person that uh, put up the link for those 3D files, but I have it downloaded. It's one of the guys, I, I can't remember, it's a fairly new guy. He has a, a YouTube channel which he put out and where he 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 posted a link to the STL files for this uh, billboard. So I managed to get it, I got it printed and it's fantastic. So I also need to to sort out some uh, signage for the billboard there and do that. So yeah, I guess uh, I suppose I, I suppose I should uh, get it done. Yeah, get that done. A friend of mine gave me an idea to get a little uh, LCD and hoi it in there, put it in there, and then I can run videos or run ads or whatever. So that's a really good idea, something for the chat. So definitely gonna look into doing that. So that's three things and then the fourth thing would be to just take out the damn chassis and just start fiddling with it but like i said the my main reason why i'm not fiddling with my chassis is because of my of my tuning tools i've managed to uh, save some of my uh, drivers so that's that's fine but like my intricate uh, tuning tools uh, my um 
Oh, what's this bloody thing? My ride height gauges, my camber gauges, my uh, setup station, um, my spanners, my flipping. See, I'm losing. I'm losing check. The ah man, yeah, my my spanners for to adjust my camera and tow. Jeez, why am I forgetting all this thing? But yeah, all of those gone. Screws, spares, gone. Even one of my batteries done for. But I managed to get some batteries, so not to worry about that. But yeah, so that's the only reason why I'm not messing with my my chassis. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm sure I'll I will get back into it as soon as I just refocus myself. So and I can I have all you guys <clears throat> I have all you guys to thank for it for getting me back uh, on track. Uh, so let's I'll make a deal with you guys and let's do this. And I want you guys to hold me accountable for this. Next week on the next episode, I have to get back to all you guys with an update of what I'm doing. So I'm not going to post up uh, anything that I'm doing on uh, for the nip from today right through to next episode. I'm not going to post what I'm busy with on social media. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys next week on right here what I'm busy with and what I've done. And if I haven't accomplished anything, I want you guys to hold me accountable for that. And whatever punishment you guys suggest... I will accept it. How's that deal? Can we can we shake on it? Is that a deal? First bump. Okay. Uh, let's hear it. Is that a deal? Let me know in the comments if you <laughs> if that's a deal. Uh, so yeah, I think uh, I think if I set that for myself, I think we're gonna get something done. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, so guys. I think I've been uh, rambling on and ranting for uh, a little while now, and it's not quite my usual uh, podcast. Ah, Arvi, oh, see, you are, you are, you are not allowed to set any punishment because you got inside info, and that's why you are not allowed. <laughs> That's a little inside joke, but anyway, um, yeah, so deal. Okay, we're getting thumbs up. Yeah, I agree, Z. RP is very dangerous. And we got Peter, so I, I, I'm dead now. So if I don't do what I've what I said, <laughs> what I've said, I know you guys will hold me accountable. So thank you for that motivation, that push. Uh, once again, thank you everybody for joining in and supporting the B-Rock RC show, especially for all those viewers that have been there from the beginning when it was just an audio-only uh, podcast where I was doing it. I was doing the podcast like the inside my car and whilst I'm driving home uh, and then moving on to uh, the video podcast in season two and then getting it looking a little bit better. Uh, I know I've uh, kind of uh, went a little bit backward with the podcast, but just keep hanging out with me and I assure you it's going to get better soon. Okay, maybe not soon, but it's going to get better as soon as I'm able to. I promise you guys, uh, I will return the uh, the podcast to its former glory and also include many of the other features that you, you guys uh, used to enjoy. One especially I used to enjoy was a check, uh, was the the check features and then learning the languages of everybody, of all the countries around the world. I think that was one thing that I really enjoyed. But uh, be that as it may, we are here now. We're going to keep it going. We're going to keep the podcast going. Uh, thank you once again to everybody for joining in uh, on the B Rock RC show. I think that's going to be it. We're going to build you a track. Dude, I actually need to, to talk to you about uh, something. Anyway, Z says, going to pursue a build with you. I'm still enjoying my RC, but now I need something more customizable. 
Aha. Okay. Then we should have a chat now, man. Uh, we will we'll chat. We'll chat. And then we'll we'll get the thing done. Uh, so you can stream races. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. I like where you're going with that, Mr. RB. Um, funny enough, yeah, we definitely need to chat, uh, chat about something. We definitely need to chat about something. Let, let's see if we can get something going. Escort Mark II body. Oh, man, that'll be so awesome. I know where we can get a couple. So we'll see. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Once again, I think that's going to be it for today's episode of the B-Rock RC Show, Season 3, Episode 8. As usual, you will be able to catch this episode on my YouTube channel uh, tomorrow or sometime this week. Now, only if you knew where I'm at watching the live, buddy. Take care. Oh, bro, thank you so much for always uh, joining in the uh, uh the podcast man you've been one of the long 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 time uh, viewers i really really appreciate the support um yeah it's gonna uh it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty cool i hope next week uh next week's episode i will be able to do, do justice thank you once again for joining in uh keep drifting alive man because i'm i'm hanging on i'm hanging by a moment here with you uh, if you get that line, <laughs> then you are as old as me. Um, yeah, thank you guys once again. I really, really appreciate you guys' support for the Birok RC show. Um, like I was saying, you can catch this episode on the uh, on my YouTube channel tomorrow or sometime this week as soon as I uh, upload it. You can also follow me on TikTok, on Instagram, on Facebook. If you need any help, just message me anytime. Um, uh, also, I, I have a WhatsApp group uh, that's called the RC Show of uh, Arena. It's a it's a decent group where you just show off your RCs. We also have a monthly virtual build off competition sponsored by uh, SRC and the show, the B Rock RC Show. Uh, there's prizes there to be won, so we have quite a few entries already. And if you didn't enter this month, you can always enter in next month. So it's going to be very cool. Uh, if you want to join the group, just uh, hit me up, let me know. And it's actually open to everybody, not just uh, drifters. It's open to everybody. So thank you again, guys. Uh, it's been an awesome uh, episode. It started off slow, but it ended off with a bang. And it's really all thanks to all of you. You guys are the real MVPs. So catch you. Uh, same time, same place next week on the Bayrock RC show. And I promise you, it's going to be even better next week. So I hope you guys will join me. Uh, spread the word, man. Let the people know the Bayrock RC show is the place to be. Take care. Stay safe. Peace.